Since we began exploring space, we've been looking farther out in the solar system to see what's there. And in 1992, we discovered the Kuiper Belt, an icy cold and dim region beyond Neptune's orbit. There have been a lot of interesting discoveries there recently, and some strange and mysterious objects have been found floating around in the belt, and one of these has scientists completely baffled. What are these objects, and is it possible one of them is an alien ship? Get ready to find out the answers to this and more. The Kuiper Belt has millions of strange objects in it. Some are 100 kilometers wide, and some are really huge, measuring 1,000 kilometers in diameter. So what are they? Kuiper Belt objects, or trans-Neptunian objects, are the remnants of the very birth of our solar system that happened about 4.5 billion years ago. It's a huge volume of space, as you can imagine. While we had just discovered a tiny fraction of this region, We've already found about 2,000 Kuiper Belt objects. However, some of them raise more questions than they give answers. In April 2016, the New Horizons probe reached the dark and mysterious Kuiper Belt. As the probe was moving past Pluto and nearing the belt, it discovered a weird object on a strange trajectory. It was given the name Aron, and it was measured at 133 kilometers in diameter. While researchers were looking at it, it appeared to grow brighter and then dim in a precise rhythm, suggesting it was spinning. Most objects in the belt are made of ice and rock, but this thing seemed to be made of something different. Astronomers were right, but Aron was spinning so fast, about once every five and a half hours, that if it was made of ice and rock, it should have torn itself apart from the centrifugal force alone. But it didn't. Scientists started to wonder, what is it and what's it made of? It was time to get in for a closer look, so NASA steered the New Horizons probe in its direction. But something weird happened as the probe approached Pluto on its way. Communications were suddenly lost, as if something was jamming its signal. And as the probe moved away from Aron, communications were again restored, which turned out to be a computer glitch. But NASA was prevented from finding out the truth about the intriguing spinning object. Some researchers suggested that the spinning is creating artificial gravity in the middle of Aron, and it could be some giant ship, something you may have seen in science fiction films. However, the gravity would not be enough for human passengers, but for some other form of alien life, it could be. Could this object be an interstellar alien craft of some kind, like Oumuamua is thought to be? Most likely not, but there is always a slim chance if you were an alien species and you wanted to get a look at the strange creatures known as humans, the Kuiper Belt would be the perfect place to hide. Perhaps in the future, we'll get another chance to get close and figure out exactly what Aron is. Still, there are Kuiper Belt objects we know a lot about. In 2014, astronomers discovered a weird celestial body in the outer reaches of our solar system. Its estimated size was roughly 32 kilometers across, and what's truly interesting is its shape resembles a snowman. In fact, scientists have long struggled to understand how such a shape could have formed. The object was named Arrokoth, and has been visited by the US space probe in 2019. It's become the most distant space object we ever examined at such a close distance. Arrokoth is an example of the most primitive object in the solar system, so you may think there's nothing interesting about it. However, for scientists, flying past Arrokoth was as thrilling as exploring Pluto up close. So what's so special about it? One theory suggests that our solar system formed from a dense cloud of space dust and gas. All that material, as gravity pulled it together, transformed into the planetary system we see today. There's just a tiny gap here. We don't know what happened in between these stages. And because the average Kuiper Belt temperature is about minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 220 degrees Celsius, KBOs are typically well preserved. So they can fill in those gaps, and Arakoth is one of the missing puzzle pieces. In studying this weird-shaped flat object, scientists came closer to uncovering how space bodies in our solar system were formed. Arakoth is a contact binary object, meaning it consists of two parts stuck together. And since these lobes differ in color, 
It could indicate they have once been separate objects that formed from dust in the primordial cloud over 4 billion years ago. But how did they come together without seriously damaging each other? It turns out collisions that took place billions of years ago weren't that fast and violent. In the case of this KBO, gravity made the two separate parts slowly rotate around each other and bind together in a slight collision. Each celestial body has an intriguing formation story, and if you'd like to see a video about the birth of our Sun and our solar system, let us know in the comments. Still, Arakoth isn't the only mind-boggling object the Kuiper Belt has to offer. The next object isn't famous for its size at 650 kilometers or its shape or color, but what's strange is this object's density that's 18% less than that of water, which means it can easily float. The object has the name 2002 UX25, and its low density is a big mystery. One way to explain it is the celestial body's high porosity or gaps in its structure. However, it's commonly seen in objects less than 350 kilometers in diameter. Larger objects are too massive for such a low porosity because the force of gravity compresses their material, leaving no room for these gaps. Is this Kuiper Belt object a forensic oddity, something that will change planetary formation theories, or is it something more complicated? Whatever the reason, we've got to learn more about average-sized KBO's density to define it for sure. Another intriguing object is almost four times the size of UX25, and it's got a lot of stories attached to it. This one's a planetoid, a minor planet that consists of rock and ice, and it's about 1,300 kilometers wide, but scientists speculate it should have been twice its size sometime in the past. It's possible that this KBO had a collision with Pluto and lost its material as a result. What astronomers cannot wrap their heads around is why this object's temperature has risen from about minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 260 degrees Fahrenheit millions of years ago. Did something or someone heat it up? We don't know yet. The Kuiper Belt object is called Kwawa, and throughout the last several years, scientists have found water ice present on its surface. What's more, there could have been an ocean on this planetoid in the past, and that's not all we know about Kwawa. It also has a bright surface, which could indicate the KBO may have had geological activity, such as cryovolcanoes not so long ago. We all know what volcanoes are, but cryovolcanoes are something different, although they both act similarly. The one with the weird name erupts ice chunks, water, methane and ammonia instead of magma and ash. Quite a breathtaking view as you can imagine, and we could probably witness this phenomenon in the future, but there's no planned mission to Kwawa yet. But if there will be one, we'll make sure to tell you about it. There's also an intriguing space body outside the Kuiper Belt, but it's still worth mentioning. Once astronomers had discovered and observed it, the object raised tons of questions. One of them was about its mysterious composition. We're used to thinking that the majority of space bodies outside our solar system are made of ice. As a result, they're usually either white or grey. However, what we see with this object is quite different, because it's nearly as red as Mars. Another mystery is how oddly this space body moves. Its orbit isn't like anything we've seen before. It's called Sedna, and it moves as close as 11 billion kilometers to the center of our solar system. Then Sedna drifts away to about 135 billion kilometers. It's such a great distance that it needs roughly 11,000 years to make a full circle. Sedna, along with other celestial bodies, is thought to be a part of a collective gravity. When space objects orbit another object, like a binary star, they pull and push on each other, and it affects their orbits. One mind-blowing suggestion is that Sedna and a few other space objects could have been the reason for the extinction of the dinosaurs. As the orbit of these objects fluctuates, they can shoot nearby comets into the solar system, and even towards Earth. Since Sedna swings back and forth so far, it seems there's some unforeseen force that pulls on Sedna. And the force is the hypothetical Planet Nine, located far beyond the Kuiper Belt. It's estimated to be about five to six times the size of our planet. Although it hasn't been found yet, there's the theory it could be an alien imposter that came from a different star system. Other scientists suggest it's an ancient black hole. 
Whatever the case is, Planet Nine is supposedly hiding somewhere in our solar system and it's hard to detect because of the bright row of stars in our Milky Way. However, a recent study suggests it may be closer and brighter than we think, and if it's brighter, it can be easier detected. If found, we could stumble upon a mega Earth or a mini Neptune. So how do we find it? Well, scientists are currently using different telescopes to scan the section of the sky where Planet Nine could be. Their best shot, however, will be the Vera Rubin Observatory, equipped with a powerful 8.4-meter telescope. When completed in 2023, the telescope will be repeatedly scanning about two-thirds of the sky, looking for everything from asteroids to the mysterious Planet Nine. If we discover it one day, it'll become the first time a planet is found in the last 200 years. There are also quite bigger trans-Neptunian objects out there, and some of them are so big they're called dwarf planets. One of the biggest Kuiper Belt objects ever discovered is also the 25th largest body in the solar system, and there are hundreds of thousands of space objects in it. Although this TNO is nearly 46 astronomical units from us, it's the brightest object in the Kuiper Belt after Pluto. In fact, the object's big size was one of the reasons Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This Kuiper Belt object is called Makemake, and scientists will struggle to answer why it is bright while its moon, MK2, is as black as charcoal. What's also weird is they expected it to have an atmosphere, but it doesn't have one. All we know is it's quite cold, about minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 240 degrees Celsius, and these two factors make life impossible there. So far, there are no planned flyby missions to Makemake. Nearly every object we found in the Kuiper Belt has its mysteries, and the next one has got a couple of them. This dwarf planet is known for its strange shape, two moons, and an odd rotation. Plus, this is the most distant space body that has rings around it, and we don't know why. The object's name is Haumea, and it's the third closest dwarf planet to our star. The weird shape of this KBO resembles a rugby ball. Similar to how you throw a balloon filled with water and it kind of flattens, this object's elongated shape was created as it was spinning through space. As a result, Haumea's day lasts only 3.9 Earth hours, which is also one of the shortest days in the entire solar system. If you lived on Haumea for one year, one day equals four hours, and comparing that to a 24-hour Earth day, you'd be 283 years old back on Earth. While most of this object is rock, its outer layer is thought to be covered with ice, the same ice you find when you open your freezer. However, there's also a weird red spot on its surface that may be rich in minerals, but we're not sure about the origin of this spot just yet. Perhaps it could be something quite different from what scientists are thinking, maybe even a sign of extraterrestrial life. Given how many new things we discover in space, it's possible that we might find alien technology one day. The Galileo project, launched in 2021, is going to try and find alien artifacts in space and here on Earth. And while the chances of finding something significant are small, it could become the breakthrough we've been waiting for since the launch of the first space rocket. Even if the project fails to detect such signs, it could still find eye-opening explanations for Oumuamua and UFOs. The project team claimed it would make all discoveries publicly available. So stay tuned, as we'll definitely let you know about them once they come.